we've got this great equipment from Bailey. We've got a really cool project that's going to test each and every piece of equipment. And we're going to look at the pros and cons of each machine to make a whole bunch of noise. Okay, so here we are again working on a Roadster pickup project. We're going to build these back corners for the uh, back panel that we made in the last episode. Uh, this is our buck that I made years ago that um, has this contour and uh, the shape here on the side we want, all the details. So our um, challenge today is to shape a piece of sheet metal that will fit to this wooden buck. Uh, really tight uh, down here in the, in the middle and up here. So I've been practicing and um, this thing shrinks really well, really, really well actually, and um, shrinks a lot really fast. So I've been practicing with it. That's what we're gonna start with first is shrinking, uh, then planishing, and hopefully I'll get it right the first time. We don't have to do this, build three or four panels to get it, so. So I'm just using the kick shrinker here to tighten up this edge a little bit, get rid of the waffling from the uh, uh, fingernail dies. Now I'll go, I'm going to go over the table and turn this edge up and see how close I am before I start planishing. A lot of back and forth, back and forth, until it starts fitting the buck. We're getting real close there. I'm gonna put a little bit different die in the planishing hammer, tune this radius up some, get that highlight line all even. The goal is your, your piece just sets on your buck and it's happy. So every time you planish, the damn thing unfolds itself. So every time you planish your panel, it's probably gonna open back up because it relaxes it. So you gotta put the form back in it. This is our edge that needs to be flat coming into our compound. Highlight lines look really good. No low spots, no high spots. I'm not changing any shape, I'm just changing the form. Back and forth and back and forth till the damn thing fits the buck. So uh, now we're going to revisit using the uh, Bailey Power Hammer, uh, the 28HD. So I'm going to use the Power Hammer and blend this area in into that's going into our radius. It's really pretty close, but I'm going to blend blend it in, give it a, raise it up a little bit, so just uh, the highlight lines flow better. And um, after we do that, it should be pretty much finished panel and we can start working on doing our trim and our details.
laying up here, it's not fighting me. But you can see we've got good shape. And I know that buck's 100% right, so that's all that matters, make it fit the buck. We got this thing all happy fitting on the buck. One clamp holding it down. Look inside, it's hitting all the stations. Hits real nice here, the center, the back. This is nice and flat, bitching contour. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna trim this edge here and turn the flange, and then also turn the flange on this edge down here. And um, the buck, is exactly the size it needs to be. So that's what we're gonna use for our strike. Okay, this machine here is a Pextoed B roller. They've been around probably 150 years or more. Uh, we're gonna use it to tip the flange on the bottom of our panel. Um, it has a knife edge blade here, flat down the bottom. The old fashioned hand cranker over here. So as you can see, the material's starting to wrinkle as we're going around this corner. So this has to be shrunk to lay down to, to lay over. So I'm gonna use the kick shrinker to start squeezing this metal around, make another pass. Each time I go, hit another pass so it lays back down. Okay, so it's fitting pretty good. I've got to tune up this edge right here. We can get this thing to lay flat. I'll do that on the bench. Okay, so I've been going back and forth between the kick shrinker and the uh, T-Dolly over there to get this all lined up. Uh, just took it out, lay it on the side to check it. So it, it fits all good, real nice, all the way around. Real happy with the fit. But right now I'm gonna turn this uh, flange over that uh, ties into the uh, what would be the door jam. in this right here. That looks good. Okay, so uh, we got our panel flanged on the bottom, on this side over here, on the door jam side. It lays on the buck absolutely perfect. Um, it's, there was a lot of back and forth and back and forth between the table and the planching hammer, the buck, and back and forth and back and forth, but that's what it takes to get something to fit really nice. Um, this is a funky shape. It's got just slight crown, but then goes back to dead flat right here. So. Um, our next um, things we're gonna do is we're gonna put the bottom bead in and then the upper details that come around to the back of the cab with that cool little step down right here that we'll stamp and put in. That's, uh, that's what's up next for this panel. Mm -hmm. 